Hey, good peeps of Peg City and around the world. Welcome to Beer for Breakfast, Oot a Boot at Interstellar Rodeo. They call me Bruce, Amanda's on the camera, and we're backstage with Alexa Dirk's Begonia. Hello. You may remember Alexa from Shikimin, <laughs> Courier News, the new lightweights, now Begonia, <laughs> blooming for summer. So, well, welcome, Alexa. Thank you. <laughs> tell, tell us about uh, the new project, the bedding plant named Begonia. <laughs> yeah, so... It's uh, the first time that I've really kind of concentrated my solo efforts in this way. So it's a big collaboration songwriting wise with Matt Schellenberg of Royal Canoe. Matt Peters has helped me a lot with the recording of the EP. And uh, it's kind of like a soul alternative pop project. Yeah, where like my voice is kind of at the forefront, but still the production plays a big role. And we've seen you play in many, many configurations just yeah. popping up, whether it's solo, with a full band, yeah. uh, you know, the, the people that you ran into on your way to the gig. Um, the fans out there, and this, this is the number one question we received all weekend about Begonia. Okay. Is it you? Is it you and a band? Is it the band? <laughs> is it you and whoever you find that day? What exactly is yeah, Begonia? Yeah, I just like, found some people in the Forks Market. Well, we do have the talent to do that. I <laughs> know, it's true. So I guess Begonia is like, I wanted to have this solo effort, but I didn't really want it to just be my name coming forward because people do know me from other projects. I wanted it to kind of be its own entity. I don't want people necessarily to call me Begonia. <laughs> like, I'm not Cher or anything. But I also just kind of wanted that moniker is just like a new, to showcase just a new project that I am working on, and that's where this, these efforts all kind of get concentrated in but there are there's a band today I'm, I think I'm like the most complicated tweener that has ever existed on the stage <laughs> I have three musicians with me and like a pretty full setup so that's my way to tween but it, it's always a different apart. band yeah I, I hope so I don't know <laughs> well there's a green theme going on here Begonia and the first single Juniper yeah is that conscious or it just happened and the of course, Juniper name is a bit unconscious but I wasn't unconscious when I wrote it, but it was a bit not necessarily planned. But the begonia thing, yeah, no, I have a very uh, a strong affection for plants and flowers, and I wanted to somehow put that into my songwriting, but also when I was coming up with a band name or a name for this project, which is one of my least favorite things to do, because it's very hard to like commit to something, and it's like naming a child or naming something that you really care about. It's really difficult to come up with something, but then I was looking through a plant book, and then uh, a lot of my friends call me Rex. It's a nickname that people have for me. And there's a begonia called the Rex Begonia. And I saw that and I was like, oh my gosh, it's so meant to be. But then I just felt too clunky with both the names, so I dropped the Rex and now it's begonia. Just begonia. Yeah. Pithy, like three words. <laughs> Crazy, sexy, cool. <laughs> Where do those three words come from? TLC. <laughs> they are the band TLC. <laughs> Okay, that's one for one. Number two, <laughs> easy, breezy, beautiful. <laughs> Were you looking at my Twitter account? <laughs> it's a, a cover girl reference. I'm not very good at Twitter. So every once in a while when I feel like compelled to tweet, as they say, and usually I just feel like I have too many words. It's like Twitter, I can't, like I find myself like if I ever want to like do a tweet, I have to like edit it for a half hour. I don't have time for that shit. I can't do that every day. I can't sit like and edit my tweets. Hashta so, hashtag public persona for those. Hashtag public persona. So I had a series of tweets one day about what my perceived public persona, what, what I hoped for it to be, but it was like eight tweets and I haven't tweeted since. And that was about a week ago. So what, what about uh, hashtag public persona? Well, Alexa, <laughs> uh, Alexa Dirk's private persona in, mm. in, in, in three words. Mm. I don't know. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> I, I, you know, it's, I'm pretty transparent. I mean, I if, if you look at my Instagram, like what I, go, what I do in my off time is kind of the same of what I do in my on time. I'm pretty much the same idiot that I am on stage that I am off stage. So. And that's but why you have the fan it. base that you do. Oh, I hope so. <laughs> She's genuine fun. Uh, Alexa Dirk's Begonia. Check her out. Name drop. Before we let you go, name drop somebody that they should check out. One of your pals that they One really, of my pals? One of your pals. That's that doing they music need. right now? Yeah. I mean, Atlas, Heather Thomas. She's coming up. I think she's working on some new stuff. She's great. Royal Canoe dropping a new album. The guys, some of the guys from the band are playing with me today. That's like a really great project that I love in the city. And they're just my brothers. Joey Landreth, one of my bros. 
Love that guy. He's putting out some new music soon. French Press just put out an album. Just on my butt. I could name drop all day. <laughs> there you go. Don't just take it from <laughs> us. The coolest city has the hottest scene. <laughs> this has been Beer for Breakfast, Out in the Boot at Interstellar Rodeo with Alexa Dirks, Begonia. Until we meet again, be good, have fun, stay motivated. <laughs>